Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Now, whether you believe that other planets are teeming with life yet undiscovered by mankind, or that there's nothing out there to be discovered, you should know that scientists are constantly learning more about other planets by more closely examining our very own Earth. Remember when we reported that single-celled life was found in the Antarctic Lake Vostok, a lake which mimics the environment of other planets with below freezing temperatures and little access to sunlight? Well, those findings were crazy exciting because of the debate that they sparked. But many people wondered about contamination because the findings were taken from samples of the ice that's under the lake, but the surface of that ice. Well, now's an exciting time, friends. Forget about that above the top of the ice stuff. We're going all the way under that lake ice to find out if there's life below. Well, I mean, we aren't. A team of US scientists are. Already did. And what they found is pretty crazy. They went to neighboring Lake Willens with equally there is no way life can exist here conditions and used new drilling techniques to take a sample from below all of that ice. Now, if you've ever wondered how to properly drill through a bunch of ice, without A, contaminating the sample below, or B, changing or causing harm to the natural environment, it turns out the safest way to drill into over half a mile of ice is to use very hot filtered water to melt a hole straight down through. Science! The water's zapped with a UV light and disinfected with hydrogen peroxide, plus it's so hot that it would kill any microbes trying to climb on down that hole whilst we're drilling. Thus, a clean sample. So what did they find in this 31 degree Fahrenheit or 0.49 degrees Celsius completely pitch black lake? Not just life, but life lots of life. There were over 130,000 cells in each thimble full of water collected. And if you need variety, there were over 3,931 species collected, including a mix of bacteria and archaea. Archaea. I don't know. It's a single-celled organism. The presence of all these species of life living in a pitch black environment means they are not surviving via photosynthesis. They are surviving via oxidation, which is when one molecule steals an electron from another molecule. So they are getting their energy from the iron in the rock around them. Rock biters are real! Kinda. And they could exist on Mars or Jupiter's moon, where the environment is incredibly similar. So what does the possibility of life on another planet mean to you? Are you excited by the potential of the human race having another habitable alternative after we've destroyed our own planet? Or terrified by the possibility of other species that could do that to us? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, click the sanitation and all this stuff. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and it's kind of sad, really, that we're getting closer to that kind of sci-fi scenario being real, like less inhabitable areas and too many of all of us just trying to survive. <laughs>